guys, it's Justine, and today we have the brand new Microsoft Surface Duo. So this is just gonna be an unboxing and a first look at it, and then we will have a full review after I've had some time to spend with it and test it out. But today, it is here. <gasps> I feel like when I opened this that there should have been some music playing, there should have been lights. Oh, this looks like a cake box. Maybe there's not a Surface Duo. Maybe there's cake in here. Okay, I don't think there's cake. So this is the press kit. They sent this out to a bunch of reviewers and journalists for us to get a chance to show it to you guys. There it is, oh wow, wow. We've also got some Microsoft Surface earbuds and the Duo. Here it is, it's in this box, it's inside. This is real. So this is cool because this device is kind of reinventing the way that you're using devices. And they've been very adamant about the way that these two displays work together. So you really can have two separate experiences happening at the same time. So this is the 256 gig version. There are two different versions. There's one that is a 128. So that'll allow you to decide which size storage you would like. This has six gigs of RAM with a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. So let's open it up and get that first look. Oh man, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. I'm so excited. You guys, I'm freaking, freaking out. This is a first touch. This is a first hold. This is the first feel of the Microsoft Surface Duo. It feels nice. One of the things that I think I was worried about with this is it was gonna feel sort of plasticky, so it's not gonna have like a substantial feel to it. Oh, and it's so shiny. Look at this, look at this, look at this. satisfying. This, the open, the opening is incredibly satisfying. So smooth. So during the press conference, they kept calling the different ways that you hold this a pose. So there's various poses that you guys saw at the beginning of this video on the box. So let's go through those right now. <clears throat> Book mode, please. Compose mode. Single screen mode. I think this is my personal favorite. Tent mode. I don't know how they came up with that name. I mean, they really, really outdid themselves with that one. And then last but not least, there's peak mode. So you just can kind of like take a little look inside. Peak mode. Peak, like you're taking a peek. Let's take a look and see what else is in the box and then we'll talk more about the device. Oh, Surface Duo bumper, specifically designed to protect your device. We all know I'm gonna need this. This kind of reminds me of like when you would go bowling when you were younger and they would put bumpers on the bowling alley so that you would always get some pins. I mean, maybe it was just me. I thought I was a, a champion. I think I can figure this out without watching the tutorial video. I'm not sure. I think we're gonna go bumperless, but that's just me. Oh, surprise. USB-C cable. This looks to be our SIM card ejector. Probably instructions. This is probably the charging brick. Surprise. It's almost like I'm a mind reader. That is the best looking dual screen. I'm, Do you want to touch it? Touch Do it. You want, yeah, yeah. Guys, Tyler sold. I want to Like, just... it's honestly like just, it's really cool. Oh. I know. Oh my. It's like they're not, yes. they're not trying to be like, hey, we're one big screen. It's like dual monitors, but, but a baby size. Shoot, it's so cool. We all know that I might or might not be a little dramatic sometimes when I'm unboxing things. I've been trying to tone it down, but I'm really struggling to keep my excitement under wraps because this just looks really good. Like the feel of it, I haven't even turned the thing on yet. So it is powered by USB-C. And over here is where you'd be putting your SIM card. Well, let's give you a nice look. We've got our power button and the volume. So this does only have one camera. It is a six megapixel camera. But with this, this could be a front facing camera or a back facing camera. I know. 
I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be the best camera that is on a smartphone right now. There are so many phones out that have such high-end cameras. It is six megapixels. I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't say what the photos look like. But of course, you better believe that we will be doing a video and photo test. And here's the hinge mechanism. During the press event, they were showing all of the technology and the research that they did to make this as effective as possible. I think the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip was rated for 200,000 folds, whereas this is just, it's a hinge. You're not folding the actual class device itself. I don't even think that this is something that is in the same category as those foldable devices, because yes, this is fold, but there are two different screens. And the reason that this is so special is because they're making these two screens kind of like dual monitors. So just picture yourself, if you're working on your computer and you have dual monitors, this gives you a lot more screen real estate to be able to do things. So you're able to open Android apps, Microsoft 365 apps, and they will all work on on this device, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, like Microsoft and Android teaming up, getting together, saying what's up, let's make a cool device and let's make this happen. Pretty cool. So I wanted to do a size comparison to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So this is the bigger iPhone, but I wanted you guys to be able to see if you know what size this phone is to kind of give you a reference point of the size of this device. And then if we put it right on top of it, a little bit thinner, but the actual thinness of the device is almost about the same as the iPhone. So here's the thinness in compared to one of of the sides. So there's one side compared to the thickness of the iPhone. I mean, we can make a sandwich. Definitely wouldn't recommend doing that, but if you wanted to, you could. And so here it is in comparison to the iPhone when it's all unfolded. And as far as weight, a very bad judgment, but they feel about the same. <laughs> this is a scientific weight measurement right now. So they're not calling this device a phone. I'm not really sure what I would call it because it's not really a tablet. It is sort of in its own new category. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to doing a full review and test of this. If there's anything that you guys would like us to test out, leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, we will try to address those and test them in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post this video and any other new ones. With that, I will see you guys later. Bye. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Finally, turn this on now, but you guys can't see it yet. Uh... It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Tyler, you can't take that because look what this says. This says that we are one of the first 50 devices. One of the first 50. Oh my god, we gotta go find the other 49. Do you think we should all meet up? We gotta have a, a COVID meetup. Isn't it nice? It's seriously. It's the. I feel like it's the only like good new thing like since like, like you know iPad